Hi, uh, we're here today in Utoxeter with uh, Llama Adventures and we're just here to see what it's all about and see why people are interested in it. So let's go. What like steps do you go through? Well, well it's a good day today because actually the llamas have come up the field because it's actually quite a pleasant day and we've obviously got three llamas actually standing this side we've got the others that are actually interested so what we'll actually do now with people that come along with us we'll actually introduce them to the llamas give them all of the names and then we'll take one person at a time and we'll actually show them how to put a head collar on okay. before we actually go yeah. out for a walk so that you've got that slow yeah, introduction yeah. so it's not all too rushed <laughs> What we're going to do now is llamas are all about routine. So we've got the la we've got three llamas here at the moment who are actually munching the grass out there. But we'll bring a llama in here, and then we'll put the head collar on. You can have a go at this. Yeah. Okay. I'll talk you through it again. So, but if you're coming through the gate, mm -hmm. there we go. So what, what we're gonna do is if I hand you the head collar, so hold that in that, that hand, that in that hand, this needs to just be out of the way, so just pop it under your finger or something, yeah. and that's just so you don't trip over it. So you need to get on the left hand side. Just as the walling, they do kick. However, that's only if they feel threatened. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep going around. Be bold, that's it. So that back round. Big hug. Put that. And then this is gonna go over his nose. Yeah. Excellent. So you've got this now and you're in now control. And this is Sydney. Okay, Sydney. You're now in charge. Yeah. been on holiday and it was probably about 15 years ago now uh, and we were on holiday and we saw this sign that said come on a llama trek so we did a llama trek ourselves and we thought wow that was really good so we happened to be in the same place the following year and we thought oh we really enjoyed that so we did a llama trek again and the people that then had become friends almost friends with us actually said well have you ever thought of doing this yourself and two years later we had seven llamas. It's basically now about nine, coming up for 10 years that we've had the llamas. Uh, it was a difficult time setting up because 
you've got to take time to really set the business up and get known in the environment. But it's, it's been good now, certainly for, for, for the last seven or eight years. We've got seven llamas at the moment. Um, that's really down to the size of the property that we've got. Seven is a, a good number. So if you can see them as you're recording in the background, we've got the, the fellow at the front here is Sid. We've then got Porridge, Basil, Walking away at the back is Flash. The brown one in the middle here is Gordon. Uh, and then we've got Half Brothers, which is the slightly dirty white one at the front here, who's Lancelot because his older brother is called King Arthur. Um, and then the, the fellow, the other brown one in the middle there is Henry, and they're both seven. Most typically that we have people come and meet us at the field and they'll do handling, meet the llamas, put head collars on, do some brushing. That's the, the basic we do. More typically, we will have groups of people that we will do the same process again, but we'll actually then take them out into the local countryside, go for a walk out in the wild. Um, we do some more extreme things like uh, we've got uh, a lot of hen parties that actually come. Um, our biggest claim to fame was we had to catch the llamas one day and we had 13 on a hen party running up the field, catching the llamas to bring put head collars on and they were all wearing bridal gowns. I think until you actually come and experience the llamas, you don't actually realise how good walking with llamas is. Um, people see it as a novelty, but when you actually come here, the calming effect and the bonding with an animal that you've never met before is absolutely totally surreal. Um, what I would point out, we've, we've actually got a, a, a care home um, that is uh, on the back of our property and we've actually been told that people actually ask for rooms that overlook our field so that they can actually watch the llamas while they're running around the field and doing whatever they do. And, and that's what we find when people come and join us on our treks that they go away totally calm, happy, smiling and when we're out on walks and we've met people who didn't expect to meet us, what I always say is the first thing you do is you smile. And that's the effect that they have. Yeah.